A Bach Middle School Production The Da Vinci Code by Kyle Bell What are you staring at? Good evening. Today I am going to talk to you about one of the most famous mystery novels ever in the United States of America or anywhere else. It involves murder, mystery, and legends untold. And if you read it, then you may explode. Not really. Have you ever heard of the word San Grail? No? I didn't think so. But in fact, a lot of people have heard the legend of the San Grail, but they just don't know it. San Grail translates into Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is in fact the basis of this entire novel. This is Robert Langdon. He is the protagonist of the novel, and he's a symbologist and a renowned Harvard professor. Professor Langdon has a really mechanical mind, and he's always up to another challenge or a puzzle or something to figure out. His knowledge in symbols and history is extremely important in the novel because the writer often puts him in situations where he has to use that knowledge to succeed. <laughs> view is the counterpart of Robert Langdon, and she also develops a relationship with him throughout the book. In the beginning of the book, Sophie works as a cryptologist for the French police. When her grandfather is murdered, she decides that Langdon isn't actually the murderer, and so she decides to help him escape from Fauché's grasp at the Louvre. <laughs> He is an English fanatical grail historian, and he lives in Paris, France, in Chateau Villet, a very famous mansion. Silas, the albino murderer. He killed Jacques Sanier. Modern day Paris, France, the main setting of the story. Allow me to read you some of the book myself. For several seconds, Robert Langdon stole what the heck I can't read or just use animation. Ah, what a nice hotel this is. Hello, Monsieur Robert Langdon. I am Bezu Fauché, head of French police. We understand you have some expertise in symbology. We need your help investigating the murder scene of Jacques Sonnier. That's strange. I was going to meet Jacques Sonnier for lunch earlier today. Oh well, I'll help you anyway. This is the Louvre Museum and the murder scene of Jacques Sonnier. Oh my god, a dead body! Shut up and tell me what the symbols mean on the floor. Um. They look like they're from some kind of ancient pagan religion. Answers, Langdon! I want answers! What does that message mean on the floor? Robert, you're in grave danger. Come with me. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Well, what's happening? What's the problem? Robert? You are the prime suspect for the murder of Jacques Sonnier, my grandfather. What? I would never kill a fly or anything like that. Look at what Sonnier wrote on the floor and then Fache erased before you got here. Oh my god! Fache thinks I'm a wanted murderer! No, Langdon. These are coded directions to the keystone which will lead us to the Holy Grail. Careful driving, Langton, we have the keystone. What is this device that is called a keystone? It is a cryptex, invented by da Vinci and copied by my grandfather. It holds secrets, and you need a password to open it. 
If you don't have it, the vinegar inside will destroy the message. Fascinating. I think we need to stop. There's a friend up the road here named Sir Lee Teabing. He's an Englishman. Robert, my old friend, to what do I owe your company? We've come to talk to you about the Holy Grail. Fire away. So what is the Holy Grail, anyway? The Holy Grail is not a cop as you think. It is actually a woman. A woman? What woman? The Holy Grail is Mary Magdalene, the wife of Jesus Christ, and the beginning of the Jesus bloodline. Give me the keystone, teaming! Whoa! Whoa! Da! Whoa, how'd you do that, Lee? Sadly, people underestimate you when you're a cripple. Oh no, the police are coming! We have to get to my plane to London! Ha ha, I think we lost them! Now where do we search first? How about we search Sir Isaac Newton's grave? Well, where's the Holy Grail? Calm down, Lee, you don't have to be so snippy. Yes, we don't even know where the Grail is. All right, I've had enough of this. Let's go into a more spacious place. Ha ha ha! You didn't think I was the bad guy, did you? Did you, Langdon? Did you, Sophie? Ha 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 ha! Now, Sophie, open the cryptex or I'll kill you. What? Open it! Never! No! You fools! You broke the cryptex forever and now the secret is lost! Wait a minute! You couldn't have! You must have opened it! Yes, that's it! You must have opened it before you broke it! You go to her, and you kneel before the Holy Grail! Only the worthy find the Grail, Lee. You taught us that. Now, the last thing in this video is about the theme. The theme of the Vinci Code is mainly that the winners make the history, and the losers don't. It's important that we realize that when we hear about history, it's almost always from the winner's point of view.